All right, all right. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to this match of the 2024 Clash of Nations tournament. I am Kudo1k, and here joining me we have Reshia. Hello, everyone. Yes, yes. Uh, we have a pretty exciting matchup here. Uh, so on on the US side we have Budzy and JT. And within Team Finland we have uh, Sakali, or Sakali, you would say in Finnish. I'm actually from Finland. Uh, and Track. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, this race seems like it's going to be a pretty exciting matchup. This is the heavyweight division of the Warpless races in this tournament. So, bound to see a lot of jank, but I think we'll also see some pretty neat strats, too. That is right. Just finishing the setup. There we go. Ooh, quickly, we have everyone's gameplays coming up here. Mm -hmm. We apologize for the delay. There were some technical difficulties. Uh, mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm. setup thing. <clears throat> yeah, our runner should be ready to go at any moment. That's right. Looks like we're heading off now. But he's gonna take the bottom route in one one. Two from track, that's not what you'd like to see. But surely enough, there is a lot worse RNG to be had later in the run. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this wor first world here doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, especially in a race setting. But you will successfully get up and into the door to get the warp whistle, even though you cannot use it. It's warpless. No, no, no. Yeah, do. <laughs> Hopefully, none of the runners accidentally use it. That would be quite the time loss. That would be devastating. That would be an instant forfeit, I believe. Because at that point, there will be no point in continuing the run anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sakali getting the tunnel. Love to see it. We're gonna switch to JT Knots audio since he's ahead. Hmm. 
It seems that <clears throat> seems that the the runs are out of sync. We should have a sync shortly. Yes, that should come in in a, uh, pretty in a bit. Always with these races, it's always desynced in the beginning, but then they they sync it up. Mm -hmm. Oh no! GT's gonna take damage here on the Larry fight. Very unfortunate. But he is still ahead. It shouldn't be that big of an issue if you can re grab it in the second air. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looking like the sinking is in progress right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very nice. All right, it seems that... It seems that all of the runners are out of World 1. No major catastrophes yet, thankfully. Alrighty. I've switched the audio to Sokali's. He is ahead right now. For Team Finland. The indeed, superstar. Indeed. The Suomi sensation, as someone would say. Runners breezing through World 2. Love to see it. Well, we'll see if Sakali gets the P speed. He gets the P speed to this JT. Although it seems JT as a Fire Flower short. He's gonna need to re grab it in the airship because for some reason there is no Fire Flower grabs in any of the stages in this world. So, yeah. Or more specifically, none that are worth it to grab. Yeah. Uh, it looks like JT now also took damage a second time. Very unfortunate, but luckily he oh, didn't grab the mushroom. Did Sakali get a movement of four? <gasps> Sakali gets Ooh. early hammer? A what? Sakali getting a one death early hammer. Holy. This is a major time save. You get to skip th three mm -hmm. levels? Two levels? Yeah, it, it's about equal with what the world record gets. In this terms is, of this is absolutely huge. This is a huge time also save. Also getting for the box, bro. Yeah, also getting the box, bro, in the process, but still, it is. A very major time save, especially here early on. But he does yeah. have to play an extra level in World Four, since he used the hammer here in this world. This is pretty juicy too, because Sakali is technically on PB pace now, because yeah. his PB has early hammer with the manip, and this is like pretty close to equal, I'd say. Yeah, getting a yeah. natural early hammer is faster than doing the early hammer manipulation you see in the world record runs. Pretty scuffed pyramid from Sakali, but he makes it through. This is absolutely huge for Team Finland, getting this early hammer. I, ho I just hope they capitalize on it. Since this is a big, big advantage to get. Indeed. What are, what are the po probabilities of getting early hammer just normally? Uh, it's pretty low. I think it's less than... I want to say 5%, less than 5%. Especially one death early hammer. 
Yeah. You ha it's one thing to like have the have the hammer bro visible after you take the death in two three. Uh, and it's another you have to you also have to get lucky to actually have him come over. So you don't have to go past two three. Indeed, indeed. There we go, Neo, with the save. It is below 1.5%. That is about about one and a half percent for an early hammer. So this is some great luck for Sakali yeah, yeah. and Team Finland. It's the fire right. kill. A little bit messy, split. but it's all, it's all good. 834, that is... Considering it got boxed, that is a really good split. Yeah, with box... How much does box lose? Like, 15 seconds? 13. 13. It loses 13 initially, but they can gain back 10 if they skip the Skyburn in World 5. Yeah, that is right. So this is looking like... Very good pace for Sokali. Mm-hmm. PB pace, I'd say, even. Yeah, it's very... Uh, a PB is possible with this. For him. Alright, the rest of the r runners seem to be making their way out of World 2. Yeah, Sakali getting the jump, very epic. Crack gets a fire kill, pretty clean. 934. Split on JT Crack not. Run. JT not also getting the fire kill there. Basically, same as Sakali did. Similar fire kill there. Mm -hmm. So will Sakali get the P speed? And he gets it, nice. That's very good. You don't want to take a plunge in with water in this level. Yeah. Budsy making his way out of World 2 as well. Very good. Alright, Sakali getting a pretty decent setup with the bros right here. And we also have track ahead among the... among the non-early hammer runners here. Mm-hmm. It's looking so Team Finland's pretty Team good Finland's start. looking pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good start for Team Finland. Very strong start. It's pretty good start for our so Suomi sensations. Our Suomi sensations. <laughs> <laughs> You're still working on your finish, it's fine. Uh... <laughs> Alright, JT not having any disasters in a uh, 3 2. Love to see it. Alrighty. Charlie taking out both bros before playing 3-4. That is the RNG that you that you want. Exactly. Zero chance for the runaway bro there. It, it seems for Sakali, Ronnie has packed up his bags and went home. Yeah. Alright, nice, nice. So, Track and JT making their way out of the fort. 
Okay, Crack is out of harm's way with the runaway. And so is JT. Okay. Oh, it seems Budsy got run away. Unfortunate. Yeah, a little bit of a slow start for Budsy here, but I'm sure it'll smoothen out. Holly gets the H jump. Very cool. It seems the brother, it seems the Hammer Bros staying away. For Budsy. Oh, it looks like Track did get a runaway brother. It seems, yes. Budsy does the singular snipe for Hocus. Track doing a very scary kill on the boss bass, but it paid off. Alright, it seems the bro ended up coming back with Buzzy. That's pretty huge. Yeah, unfortunate for track. Fortunate for track, yeah. Um... Really, really bad luck for track. We will probably try to get the mushroom here on the note block. Or not! Mm. Actually, no, there wouldn't be any point in doing that. Indeed, yes, because he can grab it in the airship. Yeah, the mushroom will be grabbing the airship, and he'll have to go for a quite scary uh, stomp kill on Wendy here. Very hard. I would say mm -hmm. I would say the fire kill is much easier than getting a stop kill without taking getting hit. Here yeah, in this world three scary. boss fight. So probably getting a bit of a jank kill, but he doesn't take damage, and that's all that matters. Yeah. What matters is that he got through, mm -hmm. and he is considerably ahead. Keeping fire in world four is. Is, honestly, it's it's a pretty chunky time save. It's like four seconds or so because you're forced to grab fire in the last fort of World Four, which loses about four seconds because you don't get P speed. So yeah, really important to keep the fire flower. Yes, it is. That's right. So Kali did get an early hammer. Yeah, so Kali got a one death early hammer. Gets the P-Speed for 4-1. Uh, Very good. Very nice. JT now with the fire kill. Okay. Interesting strategy there. I thought he was going to go for the fast kill, but then... And Track makes it through without taking damage. Nice. Very good. Very good. He will lose some more time in World 4, but he did make it out alive. Budsy is entering World 4 here. JT not about to play 4 1. Alright, Fakali. Going into 4-3. Not, not. Very, very good 4-1 there from JT. Very nice. Alright, so Kali is going to play the scary level of EH. Yeah, this is... This is where you lose time over a non-EH run in this specific world. And... Because you are forced to play this level here. Nice and clean from Sakali. But he does get through it very nicely.
very clean. And Let's see what the Hammer Bros do here. Oh no, wait. they they switched. Once Charlie chose the chose the box. He's gonna have to go back for the bro after two five, after four five, sorry, or four six, depending on what he wants to play. Four six is the most optimal, yeah. That's right. So we'll most likely see four six, unless the bro is in the way. Interesting strategy. I've never seen the box being used before. Before playing 4-4. Yeah, that is quite unfortunate. Oh, you can't you can't have perfect RNG, I guess. Indeed, yeah. As it seems for a race setting Sakali to have this RNG early hammer. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. Sakali's gonna have to go back to the cloud it seems. I'm to fight both, both the P-Wing bro and the Cloud bro, but at least it's the P-Wing, that's what you want to get. Yeah, that's that will be very beneficial in 6-9 or 7-6. Mm -hmm. So considering this is a race, I assume he will use it for 7-6. I would, I would assume so as well. No P speed for Sakali. He does get a slight boost from the pseudo P speed though, so. I guess now, that's still a 5 save. The question here for me is is Sakali gonna use the P wing in 5 1? Or is does he want to get another P wing? Hmm. He has quite a lead with the, with the early hammer here. Yeah. It, would be the safe, it would be the safer option to. Try and get the P wing there, or oh, oh. for safety in in later on. Indeed, Obviously, yeah. it is a little lock dependent on whether or not you're gonna get whether or not you get the P wing. It's Holly currently in. The slowest auto scroller in the game. Mm -hmm. Why did they make it those this slow? I don't understand. It is quite slow, yes. What? I just question what made them make this one slower than the others. Like, this would be fine if it was just the same speed as the other ones. Yeah. Who knows what goes through the developers at Nintendo? Miyamoto had some explaining to do. Alrighty. Kali, despite the bad RNG in this world, is still quite ahead because of early hammer. Indeed, yes. Sakali gets a bad pattern, but it's all good. Yep, he dealt with it quite swiftly. Yeah, very good reaction from Sakali there. Indeed, indeed. Now, Sakali, he could, first two, he could head to World 5. He could P-Wing 5-1 and then skip the Skybrook to save back the time loss that he got from the, uh... The, um, box, the box in World 2. Because I'm pretty sure he only used one box. In yeah, he did. Four. Well, no, he used two. Wait, no, he did. Yeah, he only used one. Yeah. Only used one. Yeah, four, four, four. Okay, and looks then... like he's going to go for the, the other P-Wing. Or maybe, since he has the extra box, he's going to use it here instead of using 
ah, that's probably what he's gonna do. Yeah, because he already has the extra p wing. Yeah, he doesn't need to do a 5 1. P wing. So he's gonna keep the p wing instead of going up and grabbing the box there, since he already has a box. Keep the p wing for 6 mm -hmm. 9 and 7 6. He has both p wings now. Oh, Ooh, JT taking damage. Ooh. Yeah, that 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 part there in five one is a little bit rough. Can be. Indeed. And yeah, track took damage on Iggy, but luckily he he has the P wing. He's gonna do the P wing route. Moving a three from Sakali. Wait, Sakali didn't use the box. He might use the box after the stage. Yeah. Some people choose to do it before or after the fort. I do it before, but other people do it after. It would make sense to use it before so you don't get extra movements. I guess we'll see. He's yeah, gonna use it now. Now entering Twisty Castle. JT used what, it before the fort. What, what is this level called, anyway? I just call it Twisty Castle. I don't think anybody knows. I've, seen, I've seen Tower. I don't know. It's a Twisty Castle, so I'm just gonna call it a Twisty Castle. Indeed. It's actually a one long pipe transition. Fun fact there. If there was an option to skip this level, you could, even in a 100% one where you have to play every level. However, that's that's not possible because you have to get to the sky part of the world. Indeed, yes. Both runners making their way through World 5. Three runners in Twisty. The Twisty Castle, whatever you want to call it. Oh, Luna 4, Sakali. Gets the, gets the P-Speed though, very good. Mm -hmm. JT not in second place here. For Team USA. Gets through that level. It's probably the scariest level in the sky. And the bro Cypher. going out of his dock. Mm -hmm. The bird going out of the dark spot. It seems that he might have changed his mind. Let's see if he decides to go back down. Is he also gonna get the peace beat there? Grabbing grab the, leaf. the grabbing the leaf so he can damage boost in five seven. This might be the scariest level in the game. I mean, there's like lava. Mm -hmm. Fireballs, lava, the dry bones right there that didn't spawn, luckily. Yeah. Sometimes he can spawn, sometimes he doesn't spawn. You want him looks, to not spawn. Looks to me that Track accidentally grabbed the, the leaf in the beginning of this stage here. Has to mm -hmm. traverse through this stage quite slowly. Mm -hmm. Luckily, you can use you can just damage boost in five seven. Yeah, that's that's a good part of it. He will do that. All right, so Kali getting to the end of well, this is the final stage of World Five before the airship. So he's making his way to the airship. Yeah, you skip the level five nine because it's an auto scroller. And most, actually all auto scroller levels are skipped, except for the ones in World 8, in this speedrun. Because they, they cannot be skipped. Yeah, the ones in World 8. Them, you walk over them.
Alright. Same as JT will be making his way. Holly's gonna get the poop lock. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. This one is alive now. The early hammer here is really showing for Sakali. Indeed, yes. Has a very significant lead. All the way, since World 2. Indeed, indeed. I'm gonna get the fire kill there. Rap pretty clean. Went for the off-screen one grab, did not get the wall jump pixel. Quite unfortunate. Trap with the poop Seems block. The rest of our runners making their way out of World 5. Seems to be no issues for every runner here in this airship. Oh, JT taking damage on Roy. JT taking damage went for the aggressive fire kill there. Unfortunate. Still gonna and finish pretty RG. strong. Manipping for the movement of four pattern. JT here does does have to take the leaf here in six F one to do the double damage boost through the spikes. It will cost him a little bit of time, but overall it should be fine for him. Well, the not the biggest time loss in Wolfless, that's for sure. Yeah. So Holly not falling into the lava, luckily. Love to see it. Star kills Boom Boom there. Mm hmm. Making his way into 6 4 to see if he can get the P speed. Looks and like a late jump there. How, much does, how much does that speed, P speed to save anyway? Probably around a second or two. If I recall correctly, maybe one and a half seconds. That's what I thought. It's probably gonna get the bottom pattern here with small Mario. Very risky to go for the stomp there. So you have to wait it out if you want to take it safe. Budsy might not get the star kill here. Yeah. It's, just, uh, it's a minor setback, but... <laughs> we're all good here. Alright. So Kali calling for... Finland's Pride and Joy, the squirrel kick. In Finnish, it will be Kurran Potku. Having some trouble with the top lock there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So Kali will avoid the Star Brother, luckily. Mm -hmm, that's what you like to see. That can be one very bad time loss there. It wouldn't be so bad if the star actually had some use to it. Like, if it was a P-Wing, it wouldn't be so bad. But it's a star. Which, for the casual gamer, might be might be great, because you can speed through the start of the level, but for speedrun, it's not really beneficial. Track also getting the Kurren Potku there. Mm -hmm. 
Rack will oh. also succeed in skipping Star Bro. It's probably using a P wing on 6 9. So, That's like, one more P wing clean. on 7 6. That's right, all, all runners have skipped Star Row. Very lucky for Ooh. everyone here. Unbelievable. Buffy going for the 310 route. So oh, track trying. also. Track going for 610 here. Gonna get the fire. Oh, Looks Buzzy like he's going for a safe strategy corner. here. He's gonna be. Track track will be able to do the fire kill on. Mm -hmm. On Lemmy here, but it is yeah, we, it is quite difficult. So we'll see what happens. Indeed. We have we have two differences. Track and Budzy both deciding to play 610 and Sakali and JT played 69. Sakali P win 69 and JT went for 69 wall jump and then we got first try. It's very nice. I'm hearing that JT got a first try wall jump in 69. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Oh track, track went for the clip. Track taking damage, having a little bit of a slip slip up there in the beginning of the stage. You know, went for the clip, but uh, shorted it, shorted the pixel there. But Indeed. it will be, it's all right for him. He can get the mushroom back and you have to damage boost. It's, actually, no, you don't have to set damage boost. But the fire doesn't really make a difference in seven. Mm. Alright, so Kali making his way. Let's see if he gets the sub pixel manipulation here. We'll move a pixel. Oh. Uh, that looks very scary. Looks like he went for the the standing clip set up there with the two sub pixel window. That is one sixteenth of a pixel. However, it looked like. He over tapped a little bit. It's, it's, it's quite precise, so it is hard to get it right, to be fair. Indeed, yes. I would be very surprised if he gets the clip here first try. It is possible he's on subpixel 14. It is it is possible. Alright, JT also going for the minute. Not moving a pixel. Oh what? Sakali gets it first try! James, he got some pixel 14 after all. That is nice. massive. Looks like he did get the manipulation after all. Mm hmm. Seems JT went for a minute too, a forward minute, but he didn't move a pixel, so. He's probably on high sub pixel. If I was him, I would go for standing. I think. That's probably the best choice of that. I, I believe he did move a pixel, so I'll, I would think he's set up for the rub. The hopefully pipe rub so here. Is. Ah, he went for the crouch clip instead. Flip. Gonna have to take a couple tries here. I've already lost count. Is it like five? Jumping early. Uh, oh, ah, gets not it. Terrible. I don't know. Not terrible. How, how many was that? Ten tries? I don't know. Mm. Seems like a decent amount of tries. But it didn't seem overall terrible. It can be a lot worse when you don't get it first try. Yeah, it could be very much worse. I've seen worse. Budzy also getting first try. Crack going very for the duck jump. Not getting it. He's doing an interesting strat of retrying with duck jumps. Not many runners do that. USA is going to pull, pull to second or third place so far here with the clips. And JT not having more the time advantage. 
growing into World 6, aside from Sakali. Sakali clips into the pipe a little bit! That was very funny. Crack is still having trouble with 7-1. This is probably over... T probably closing in on 30 tries. Not Very unfortunate ideal. for Track here. Oh, Getting finally gets it. That's just a lesson for you. When it went in doubt, you do standing clips. Probably ahead. It's it's not it's not completely over for track either. Anything can happen here. Mm -hmm. All right, Sakali's going to grab the hammer suit here. Yes, he will. Able to keep the PSP through the pipe there. Very clean from Sakali there. We'll see if Sakali decides to play 7 9. We'll skip it. I believe he will always skip it. Indeed. He does have Probably some overhead here, so I would have understood if he if he did go for it. Mm. Eclipse, eclipse. It's possible he yeah. could have gotten screwed. Very possible. Does he get the snipe here? No, he does not. He'll get through. Nicely enough. Yes, he will get to the airship here. Quite quick succession. Looking like a 3927 A plus there. Mm hmm. Right, it seems JT is going for 7 9. It's not quite working out for him in this first clip. Mm -hmm. It seems he decided to forego the, the minip at the start. Hey, I wonder who made that minip though. Yeah. Oh, gets okay. the second clip first try at least. Gonna go for the mid clip. Or not not mid clip. Third clip here. Okay. Track stuck on 7 6 as well. Seems JT and Track are both struggling with the clips. Seems Track didn't have a P Wing. That's come, come back to bite him. Getting through. We'll get through. JT still stuck. Buzzy gonna enter enter the castle. JT finally gets it. Very nice. But it but regardless, still looks like Buzzy here is in second place. So far. Yeah, quite JT cool. losing these JT. Little messy 7 f 2 here, but... He can definitely come out on scape here. Okay, 41-41. Miss Miss, Kali... Unfortunately misses the snipe there. All good though. Kali is on borderline 50 pace. So Kali here, if he gets no hands, it might be a 50, which would be mm -hmm. great to see in, in, in a race setting. Again, the early hammer here showing, showing the strength.
Yeah, as long as Sakali has no hands and doesn't make any major mistakes, this could possibly be a 50. Which would be really good in a race setting. Be a very good time. I believe it would be his second 50. Rack somehow doesn't get the snake there. I look good. Unfortunate. Snatch are always cool to look at. They're so satisfying. Indeed, indeed. Let's see entering world age. Oh, he also went for the D-lag there. I believe that Very saves... Nice. How much does that save? About a second from the lag. Yeah, it, it varies, depending on the lag. Yeah, there's a lot of variables with lag in this game. Alright, JT making his way out of World 6. Kali's making his way out of the second order scroll. Sniping the cannonball. Very nice. Very great swag. We always love to see swag in speedruns. Just adds more entertainment, especially in these auto scrollers. They can get they can get quite boring. Indeed, yeah. Making his way out of the world seven, out of world, the world seven, the world six airship, making his way onto world seven. Sakali, so gonna go to hands. Sakali, so let's wish him the best. Mm -hmm. Get our prayers ready. Moment of truth. Oh, Gets the middle hand. hand. Fortunately, that is the fastest hand to go through. Indeed, yes. So if he doesn't get the second hand here... It can still be... It can still be a very good pace. Yep. A low 51 time. Possibly. Oh! Yeah, grabbed gets grabbed by the second hand. However, he is still quite considerably ahead. So gold is Quite still on the horizon here for Sokali and Team Finland. That lost him about 40 seconds or so. Roughly, yes. Buzzy making his way to hands. Let's see what he gets. The okay, middle also hand middle well. hand. Middle hand as okay. well. Will he get the second one? Will he get the last one? The real question. So 
Holly swiftly killing Boom Boom here in this airship. Indeed, indeed. Oh, right, hand, what's he only getting in the middle hand? That is the second best outcome you can get from this. He's probably going to use the star here. Very good option. Especially when he has two stars. Indeed. Ooh. Take a bonk there, but he's going to recover the P-Speed. Saved it for him. Now, this this level can get scary. If something goes wrong. JT getting the 99% hand? Killing this is we like to call it. Poly. Gets through, losing P-Speed in the process, however. This is all good. Now Sokali will have a star for the next level. Indeed. Got the P-Speed there for a brief moment. You can actually preserve that, but it's very hard. Oh, Budzy! Slipping on the ice. Mm -hmm. It's not the ice, but on the block. Alright. So, Polly. Alright, track making his way to hand. <laughs> JT getting all three hands. All three. Okay, but they getting through A2. Scott free. Very bad luck from JT, however. He yeah. should still be on pace for at least a bronze medal. Alright, no, no hands. Back getting the first hand. I mean, to play it with Big Mario. Seems he took damage somewhere. Indeed, indeed. Ooh, messy part, uh, messy hammer kill there for Budsy, but still, still on the run for. Her. Silver. Mm-hmm. Kali very briefly... Very briefly entering... Bowser's castle. This will be the final home stretch here. For Team Finland and their chances for gold. Indeed. Holly has been known to fail there in the on the statues. However, he gets through just fine. One up clip right, second I'll try. Be... Had a bit of trouble, but made it. Holly maintaining speed speed and 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 nice. he gets it done for Team Finland. A very good very run. Nice. Very nice. Get your GG's out for Sakali, everyone. GG for Sakali and Team Finland for getting... 5137. Getting 5137, a very strong performance. Now let's listen in on Budzy. Looks like we already had the audio on. He's on... What kind of pace? I'd say it's 53 pace. Could be Maybe 52, uh, but... Low 52. It's, it's like really close. Today. It's gonna be... It's gonna be close, yeah.
Okay, getting through the statue room there. I decided this is gonna be a 52 for Budsy. Finishes the run. Very nice. 52 for Budsy. Nice. Get your GG's out for Budsy, everyone. Very nice. KT also entering Bowser's castle now. Oh, went for the clip and got it! Nice. Very cool swag from JT there. That's gonna save him about two seconds or so. One and a half seconds, roughly. One and a half. We like to see it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very close the there. And we'll finish the one though. Very nice. GG, JT. Let's get those GGs out again. <laughs> JT not will... JT not will take home the bronze medal. Looks like we have Budsy joining the call. Hello. Hello, hello. Wow, uh, I I heard Sakali got an early hammer. Yeah, he yeah. did. Uh, he got a one, one death early hammer there. Oh, he got the one death and he went for it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he did. He got it. All right, so very, very good luck for him. He's off then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you you fortunately were able to take home silver for USA. Oh, I'm actually quite surprised because this for this run I particularly didn't play very well. Um, my world one was just uh, nothing to write home to mother about. Uh, and part of it was the game's fault though. One five was the game's fault. The sticky hill was yeah. the game's fault. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, one one yeah. was my fault though. <laughs> yeah. What happened so, to one one? Oh. I oh, yeah, had bottom round. Um, yeah, well, I, yeah, I missed the jump into the clouds, and I had to, like, really bring myself back. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I ended up, like, my world one was just, it was what it was. And then, uh... Oh, track went for the funny clip there. Oh, or for the rando yeah. clip. <laughs> oh, almost jumps onto the fireball. Oh, my... Oh, all right. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Alright, and that's it for... Oh, we'll finish one. That's it for track, fourth place. Ooh, the good fall animation, let's go! Yeah. <laughs> GG right, track, JT, and... Yeah, plus GG Sagali as well. Great performance. <gasps> Indeed. Yeah, so Holly taking home... Gold for Team Finland. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see if we can get Sakali here. I think he's gonna be in the finish chat. Yeah, he might. He's probably gonna be there first and then join here. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised this run ended up being a 52. <laughs> yeah, despite despite all the dr jank, I'd say it's it was a pretty solid run despite all the. Yeah, there, there's just a lot. A lot of just really silly mistakes were made, um, like jumping a frame early in 2F, for example. Uh, yeah. Not not clearing the mushroom block in two, I mean the question block in two floor there before the piranha plant after the uh, after that second boomerang, bro. And of course, uh, world three was actually pretty good. That that world three was scary though because I had a runaway, bro. That almost the entire time. Like, well, <laughs> this is how the run's gonna be. Here we go. <laughs> Thank, thankfully, yeah. it came back after three, four. I was, that was the biggest sigh of relief I could get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was sweating. I was really, really sweating all the way through World Three, and then I got a break there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of uh, jank, indeed, but very, very solid time considering the circumstances. Hey, hello, JT, joining us now. Yeah. Yo, GG JT. Yeah, GGs. Yeah, that was um 
That was something. I haven't been playing Mario 3 that much, honestly, because I've been practicing for uh, Mario 1, the tournament, next week at uh, Pace. That a lot of people are going. So. Yeah. So that was good. It was good, like really good up till World 7. Then any type of clip that I could have gone for went terribly. So. Yeah. But did you almost die on 1-1, one, JT? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. one, one, so one, 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 one one was good one one was one one was good yeah i missed the jump going in the clouds and then i got sticky hold in one five so that oh. was ouch dude i i got jump patterned on an all movement of one world one i was so pissed oh no i got jump patterning that i tried to like stomp on him i got hit so i got like a 333 and then 333 i got a 348 <laughs> Yeah. I almost messed up the fire kill too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, yeah and yeah. then World Three I mean, wasn't like World Four was good except for Four F Two. I just missed the P speed, but other than that, it was pretty good. World Five four, was four, just four, four, four. I got I got hit in Four Four, so I had to get fire back in Four F Two. Then I got oh, hit okay. in Five One, which was pretty cringe. And oh, yeah, so... I almost went down the shaft to shame in Five Two. <laughs> 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 and then that was that was pretty and then, uh and then yeah. i got hit on roy because i thought i was like was enough to go into the pipe and i just need to do a fence post and a half and then when i press down i'm not far enough to the right to get into the pipe so oh, i'm no. trying to like make my way and i like jump accidentally except for spamming b because i do like that double thumb thing and i got hit there and so I had to get Leaf back in six F one. Um, got well, lucky. Talk, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about how I missed the door in six F one and I ended up not getting the star kill. <laughs> <laughs> I ran right past the door. I like we're yeah. like, well, here we go. And then I had a really bad six ten. Like it just I shorted the jump trying to grab the ice block, so I rubbed it instead of landing on it. So it was slow city from there on out. <laughs> yeah, I went for six nine and then I got it first try. So. Oh, that's sick. And then 7 1 was not good. 7 9. 7 9, I was screaming. I was so mad. Like, I couldn't get the first clip. Then I got the second clip first try. Third clip took a while. And then Baby Jail was just like absolutely like, I don't know. I got like life in prison in Baby Jail. I don't know. I got lucky in 7 1. I got a first try. And then, but I blew it in seven two. <laughs> I really blew yeah, it. In as seven we have two. mentioned here, everyone got to skip the world six star bro. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I yeah. got I, I got lucky. I thought I was gonna get it, but then he went to the mushroom house and like back after I fought the hammer after six four. But, yeah. But yeah, besides you know, besides all that, uh, I call I call the race a success. You know, we both we both ended with uh with bronze and silver medals so that's good points wise for the for team usa um yeah that was awesome i mean like i said ggs at sakali for getting that one death early hammer yeah oh my <laughs> dude yeah when i saw that i was like there's no way right now. honestly he kind of took the pressure off a little bit <laughs> yeah. i was like i like Let's go. He got a hand too. He probably was like on. He might have been on fifty pace going into World Seven. He, was, he got yeah. two. He got two hands. Got two. Oh yeah, that's right. He got two hands. Middle, middle, and in. last. Yeah, yeah, I peeked in, and uh, I peeked in like after the. Um, I peeked in after the Air Force. I'm like, oh okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, like, had, well, I saw him go in a hand too. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, because when I clicked back over after, actually, I'm sorry, after the Navy, I clicked over, and uh, it's like, well, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, but that was a crazy run. Yeah, like I said, I'm surprised my run was even a 52 with a hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My goodness. I went from I went from a 5108 best possible time, like if I did 79, going into world um seven to a 5236. So best possible time, and then I got all three hands. So that's okay. My 51 pace was dead in world two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I got some I got some really unfortunate RNG too. Like I was I went to two four and then the box was up top and the pyra and the uh the the hammer was right above the pyramid and of course what happens after two four they go down move it to two and the hammer runs away from the pyramid but thankfully when I fought the box the hammer went back over by the castle. I'm like okay yeah. so we don't have to chase it but still. Yeah. 
Pero ya. Yeah, well, jank all around, but you know, I'd say, I'd say, uh, you know, things could have went a lot worse for all runners, but yeah, I think overall, pretty, pretty good race, pretty entertaining. Yeah, well, Warplus is all about jank. Yeah, honestly, for sure. Ooh, let's go. I guess the Kali wants to come in. He just mentioned in chat. Alright. Come on, track. You know you want to join us. <laughs> I know it's not it's not his thing. I, I get it. He doesn't talk. Uh, yeah. Hey. Kali. Yo, GG, GG, man. Our big hello, winner. Hello. <laughs> yeah, GG's guys. Uh, wow. what can I say? I mean, <laughs> one death early hammer in a race. Uh, I yeah. just said in Finnish broadcast that when I heard the movement of four, I just told myself that don't come in here. I don't want to make the decision to, <laughs> <laughs> to gamble. But <laughs> then obviously it turned out well, but yeah, <laughs> I didn't yeah. really want to do that. What went through your head after, after getting that early hammer playing? playing the game i mean uh, i got a little bit nervous and uh uh i i did some small mistakes here and there and then i was watching the broadcast every now and then and then uh, like in world six i saw that i was pretty far ahead and after getting seven one first try i was like then i was pretty relaxed all the way mm. to the end yeah yeah you were pretty far ahead for, like, basically all of the run. Yeah, once I saw you with World 2 Airship at that time, I'm like, ooh, okay. I think the pressure's off now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah after, after, I, after I saw you get early hammer, I was like, well, I guess it's a race for a second. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, then, I like watching my end time after getting two hands what can i say that like that's oh, yeah. awesome yeah, that was yeah cool. they, it was 50 pace yeah, yeah. which with no hands it could have been yeah, yeah that would have been that would have been incredible <laughs> yeah that's sick man that's a really nice run yeah 51 3x with two hands that's awesome uh, yeah i can't really ask for a better better one <laughs> yeah absolutely stellar <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I believe it would be time to wrap it up now for this live. Mm -hmm. yeah, very great race overall, very entertaining. Great race, very, very entertaining. Yeah, thank right. you, ever thank you, all the viewers for coming by, and thank you, all the runners for giving us all that great content. Yeah, thank you, Kudo and Russia for comments on the uh, English broadcast. Really appreciate that. Of course, thank you, uh, Kadi and THM for the Finnish broadcast. Of course, thank you, Kali Track yes. and JT yeah. for the race. Uh, thanks for like coming together to do this. This was a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully we can get more more involved next time we do this. Hopefully we do this again, because this is fun. Yeah, I hope, I hope this happens again. Yeah. They got a continental battle. Asia versus Europe versus America versus Africa. Ooh. I don't know Let's if there's go. enough enough players in Asia. <laughs> get, get my bone for open, you'll be all right. I mean, yeah. yeah. And you could just you could just put Team Japan. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> <laughs> you could just get a representative of each continent. <laughs> be crazy. <laughs> but uh yeah so we just so yeah looking forward to i know we're gonna have a little bit of a break before we see no wrong warp and uh hondo and uh looking forward to watching those and um yeah this has been a lot of fun to watch as well too um a lot of fun racing with uh real fun racing with everybody and uh yeah ggs all around everyone this is a lot of fun and uh we'll catch you later yeah, yeah. 
see. Yeah. Well, yeah, that about wraps it up. Uh, thank yeah. you very much for watching. This was a very, very nice. This was a very entertaining race. Very great overall. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll, right. we'll have a little bit of a break before the next uh, races, about a week or so, but yeah, that'll be the end of the tournament. And looking forward to those races. Same here. All right. See you guys. All right. Have a good one, everybody. See you. Thanks for the races, fellas.